Last night, my husband and I brought Yeti on a walk. I left the treats at home. Yeti figured out that I left the treats at home and he turned around and headed directly toward Bow Wow Meow, his favorite treat store in town. And I said, Yeti, no, we are not going that way. Didn't matter. He pulled both my husband and I toward Bow Wow Meow to get treats, except they were closed for the night. The parking lot was dark. The entrance was dark. That didn't stop Yeti. Yeti jumped up onto their front door, slobbering all over the front door, nearly breaking the glass of the front door, trying to get in to get those treats. I said, no, Yeti, we are not getting treats. Yeti didn't listen. And of course, then he discovered that, oh yeah, they're closed. And he walked toward me, looked up at me with this fierce scowl on his face and said, fine, mom, but when we get home, you're gonna give me a lot of treats. He kept reminding me to give him treats. What, during the walk, he kept stopping right in front of me throughout the whole walk and looked up at me telling me, mom, you stinker, you didn't bring treats. So when we got home, I had to give him treats, a lot of treats. So today's walk, you can be darn sure I'm gonna bring those treats. This is his doggy treat bowl for when we go on walks. And I'm bringing the Zooks minis. I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of them into here for my crazy dog. A few handfuls because he's gonna be demanding treats. That stinker. I have Yeti's trusty treat pouch ready to go on today's walk. Yeti, you have to get hooked up to go on the walk. a dog you'll know that they check everything out and that they sniff multiple places all the time because there's information on those places like there's the the doggy piddle everywhere and there are doggy smells everywhere now there are plenty of gophers and squirrels and skunks on this trail so we always go to one direction because skunks live in the other direction so we don't want to expose Yeti to skunks because Yeti loves small animals. Small animals like skunks are bad. There are plenty of gopher holes everywhere so I'm sure that the gophers are down safe inside hibernating for the winter but that doesn't stop Yeti from wanting to check them out and see if he can find any holes. He does love the gophers. So Yeti always gets treats on his walk. And of course I did bring the treat bag for him last night. I didn't and he let me know right away that I did not have his treat bag. <laughs> Here you goofy pup. Yes, sit. Good boy. Oh yes, but you don't need to take my whole hand off. Sweetie, no, we're not going that way because there are skunks down there. Come here, this way. This way. Oh, there you go. Good boy. So now we go down the non-skunk way. So Yeti does not encounter skunks. There might be some deer up ahead though. But when he sees the deer, he goes crazy. So normally I have the treats to distract Yeti from those deer. He gets 
it's dark so early. It's like four o'clock and already it's starting to get dark. That doesn't stop Yeti though from his walks. Because last night we were walking and it was dark outside and Yeti wanted treats and I didn't have those treats. So Yeti zoomed toward Bow Wow Meow to get the treats. But Bow Wow Meow though was closed for the night. So Yeti did not get any treats and wow, was he mad at me. And there aren't any deer today, which is kind of unusual. So the first part of the trail, Yeti normally dawdles quite a bit. And then once he poops and turns that corner, then he picks up pace where I have a tough time keeping up with him. So Yeti will spend a few minutes here eating the snow. Yeti, you crazy dog. <sighs> Sammy's in their snow. I just can't get enough of it. Chewie, my first Sammy, used to love ice cubes and he used to beg for ice cubes like how Yeti begs for treats. But Yeti hasn't taken too much to ice cubes, but he loves eating snow. I should get him on the, the ice cube kick rather than the treat kick, but I don't think it's gonna work. So there used to be a big mound of dirt right here and gophers used to hang out in that dirt. But then the city came through and they got rid of that pile of dirt. So now there's no more gophers in this area. And there's also no more dirt. No Yeti, you can't eat that. Yes, hello, sweetie. Hello, Bobby. And now that we're back to the car, Yeti doesn't really want to go back home. He wants to continue on with his walk because he's crazy dog. Oh, get in the car. Oh, boy. And we're on our way home where he's going to get more treats. Yeah, you're going to get treats, sweetie. Oh, no squeaking. Crazy squeak. So in the summertime, after our walk, Yeti sits back there and whines and cries, just like this, because he's telling us, oh, he's so hot, he's so warm, and it's so warm in the car. So therefore, we have to turn the air conditioner way up. We have to roll down his window so he can get some breezage. And right now, I have no idea what he's saying. He could be warm, probably is warm based on that polar coat that he has on. Oh, oh, sweetie, you have to stop. You can be crying. Oh, crying. See, he gets mad at me because I'm sitting in his seat. This is, my seat is the seat that he always rides in when he goes with his dad to work in the morning. He's very demanding. So Yeti, we just finished a mile walk. How do you feel? He's thinking, I want treats. I want treats and I want to play because I'm not done yet. That's what he thinks. When we get home, Yeti always does this crazy thing of just stopping like right in the entryway. I see, look, he's just stuck there and he'll stand there for a few minutes. Even if I'm offering him treats, he just stays there. I don't know why. And now he's like, yeah, mom, you need to give me treats. Sit. Good boy. Whoop. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this one and we'll bark at you next time.